YouTube. It's your boy, The Chalk Doc, and we are back once again for me to give you three reasons why my four years at Howard University were the best time of my life. Wait, pour a little bit for HU. Pour a little bit for my homies at HU. There could be a number of reasons that brought you to this video. Um, you could be um, just wanting to come to Howard University. Good for you. Good for you. Do that. Do that. You're on the right track. You could be deciding between Howard University and another HBCU. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to sway you in one direction or another. I just feel like if you go if you gonna choose a school, it ain't oh, I'm sorry, my fault. I just be getting spasm. Sometimes just don't even worry about it. Any HBCU education is a good education. Mine just happens to be the best. And then there are those that are here because they're deciding between Howard University and a PWI. All shade aside, it's a valid concern to have. It's a valid question to raise. And that's what videos like this are for, to clarify and try to give insight on what would be the best move for you. So without any further delay, let's get into it. Number one reason why Howard University was the best four years of my life uh, comes down to the culture. We're talking about Howard University culture. Like, we're talking about homecoming. We're talking about step. We're talking about stroll. We're talking about dance. We talking about fine arts, the royal court that you can get involved in, modeling that's, that has started becoming a big thing there. Um, and people actually go and actually do it for real. Like, model model. I used to think these was like some, I got 200 likes, so now I'm a model model. These folk modeling. We talking about all these things across the board, all the things that make the Howard University experience what it is. So as for my experience and the things that I was involved in most heavily, I stepped during my freshman year and then I coached for all the years after that until I graduated. Um, and stepping in Howard is serious. Serious. It's a culture. It's a culture and it keeps, uh, it, is, it, it drives the institution and that's along with all the other things you can involve, get involved in. I was also involved in the Royal Court where I served as Mr. Residence Life and which is the king of all the dorms of, uh, across campus and I served as the king of, of course, my individual dorm before I won the overall competition to be the king of all the dorms. And that kind of gives you the opportunity to exercise leadership in your own way, in your own way that's specific to you. Because in order to run for those positions, you have to have a platform or an initiative that you want to start or that you want to push on campus, and they give you all the resources in order to do that. Howard University and HBCUs across the board just got a culture that you can't get anywhere else and especially at a school that's widely considered one of the flagship HBCUs, Howard holds that uh, that status high and is very confident and very aware of its position and uses that position um, for social change, for leadership. It attracts people that feels that they can uh, mesh with that mission. Um, so what you end up with is a lot of just amazingly talented and insanely astronomically gifted, intelligent, artistic, um, inspiring people. I've never been in a space, and for me personally, coming from uh, a city like Memphis, where um, usually being social and being intelligent just exist on two different planes, to enter a space where you can have people like turn over the weekend, turn during freshman week, turn on U Street, turn and Pure Friday, $1 drinks. And then come into class the next day like nothing happened and popping 4.0s, like, that was like my first, like, oh my God. And having all those people around you, uh, regardless of what your grind is, uh, medicine, law, business, arts, humanities, whatever, you'll find your fit and find your way to, uh, to navigate this space. Reason number two for Howard University being the best four years of my life um, will have to be just the personal development that comes in being in a space like that. I always explain this to people in terms of like positive peer pressure, like being around people that are just so amazing all the time. If you ain't got three nonprofits or some research position, an internship and finding the cure to cancer, then what are you doing? 
Cause everybody else like, you good? We gotta pick it up. You at Howard University, baby. But that pressure in the end um, makes diamonds. Howard University has the type of atmosphere where you, if you have the smallest amount of leadership, a inkling of service orientation, a sprinkle winkle, a public speaking skill, they gon' they gonna snatch it out of you. I came into Howard University thinking I was just going what step my freshman year and that'll be it. Stepping turned into coaching. Coaching turned into the president of being one organization, which gave me the leadership and the uh, speaking abilities and confidence to go on and lead other organizations and graduate still with a bomb GPA and secure my spot in medical school. So it's possible. The third and final reason why Howard University was one of the best decisions I ever made. It's just that love, man. People at Howard University are literally waiting to get the next opportunity to gas or egg on whatever you want to do. If you come and you decide tomorrow that you want to start a line of designer colored pencils, you're going to walk across the yard the next day and people, yeah. There's no reason for you to not be your most authentic self through just putting yourself out there because the support is there. And the second you give them a reason to gas you, it's just going to push you to the next level. Uh, in my case, I recently came back as a Fulbright scholar in South Africa. I had, I had friends that were begging me since freshman year to go to our office that is in charge of recruiting these students and uh, developing their applications to these programs. And I was like, nah, that's not for me. Like, whatever, whatever. Um, came around the junior year, they still begging me. I went in that office, sat down with uh, the lady who name is Dr. Miller, by the way. Go rock with Dr. Miller and she gonna get, <laughs> she gonna get you right. Went and saw Dr. Miller in that office and um, here I am. And to, to be, to know that had I not been in that environment, I would not have recognized the potential that I possessed, even though other people could see it, is life changing. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Not only when you end the school, but the love of when you leave the school and just being that pillar for the black community. When I've been in medical school interviews where they going around the room and it's, oh yeah, I'm, my name's what's the name I went to here? I went to Harvard. Oh, my name's what's the name I went to? Yale. And I'm like, I went to Howard University. And you can hold your own in those scenarios and, and be just like that. So my tips would be overall, when you get there, because you're going, make sure you take advantage of the opportunities, the relationships, the atmosphere, the support, um, the activities that are there because when you're on the other side like me, and it's all over, you're gonna wish you. You're gonna wish you took full advantage of that experience. So that's all I got for you. Um, if you have any questions, if you are, like I said, if you are doing this prospectively and you looking at comparing different schools, you got questions about the Howard University experience, questions about applications, or specifically if you are pre-medicine and looking uh, for support and seeing how, how it could work for you in that regard, I'm always open to being a resource for anybody. I wish you the best for those that are applying. Go to Howard because I know once you get there, it's going to be your best four years of your life as well.